Hi, Latifah here. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to install APK files in a Philips TV, the Linux version. You can go to www.apkpure.com. Here is a website that you, you can download different applications that you can install on your TV. You can type like Netflix. You can see there is a lot of versions of Netflix and also different applications that you can download as long as it is compatible to your TV. Click download. Okay, this downloaded file will go directly to your files on your mobile. open it you can see it's already in the files you can add like facebook applications facebook messenger as long as it is compatible it is okay to download click download you can give permission if you want these applications to be downloaded on your TV just go to the settings turn on allow this source install and done it will be direct to your files after downloading the files you can move the files and put it in the USB storage you can use different OTGs check which folder you want to open yes here I gather in APK for Philips TV click move and click move here as you can see I have different applications that already in one folder there is a versions of YouTube two versions and there are also Netflix, LiveNet TV is a uh, applications you can watch different TV stations around the world. Just follow the directions like to update it until 4.7.4. Here I'm using different OTG. There are iPhone to USB, micro USB to USB type c to usb once you transfer the files on the usb you can insert the usb in the usb port of the tv here i'm gonna show you how i will install the applications in the tv this is a newly opened tv basic settings here is the menu for the TV. You can go to the settings. First thing that I will change is the auto standby. I will turn it off. So the TV will not turn off every 4 hours. So you can go to the connections. A smart TV you can connect by wire or wireless. Turn it on. wireless network is what you can connect to the Wi-Fi in your home or in your mobile like mo mobile hotspot okay go back to the menu and go to the home page open the media browser I have here the USB that I inserted then I go for the folder APK for Philips TV. You can check the first screen and confirm install and it's done. Up to TV confirm click install and done. Also Facebook just confirm install it and click done. Facebook Messenger you can install it same process and click done 
this is a video player mx video player click the install and click done netflix click the install and done also there is LiveNet, watch and youtube for android tv click install and done go to the menu and you can see those applications are already on the home page on the screen so right now we have to connect the tv on the wi-fi so go to connection wire, connect to network wireless since we're using uh, data from a mobile hotspot you can type your password and click save wait until the connection is done okay wi-fi connected you can go back to the home page and we'll try if it's youtube will work here since it's uh, it's third party applications you cannot sign in in the youtube you can watch like only sign out so let's check the tom and jerry oh great that's jerry's there off this is one of my favorite cartoons we can play another video let's check it out and it's awesome let's look awesome and you can go to the home page and there's air screen appetite appetite is like a play store google play store in an android tv when you open it you can install applications you can see like youtube netflix you can install it from here and after you install it it will go to your home page the same process from the mobile that i been showed i showed you earlier so here there is also air screen air screen is like screen mirroring smart view or casting from both ios and android devices to the tv you can go to the settings and i'm always checking if it's the airplay is on the google cast is on and miracast is turned off after 15 minutes i'm gonna click it and click the always on so you can watch or screen mirror your devices to the tv all the time so netflix netflix it will ask you to update it just click the cancel and right now we, you go to the home page of the netflix and you can type your email and password and definitely sign in on the applications